ways to get rid of each fault. All you need is a sincere, kind heart and the willingness to practice kind deeds. As long as your heart is virtuous and kind, then naturally your mind will not generate any improper thoughts. All mistakes stem from the heart. Therefore, one should change from the heart. Do you understand? Yes, I do. If we are willing to cultivate our hearts, then it is possible to purify our thoughts right away. And this is because wrongdoings originate from the heart. Purifying the heart can erase all improper and bad thoughts before they are carried out in action. The best way is by cultivating the heart and understanding the reason behind the need to change. The alternative way is forcing ourselves not to commit the wrongdoing again. Sometimes all three methods have to be used to succeed at reforming a fault. During the spring-autumn period, there was a senior government official in Wei named Wu Yu Chu. When he was twenty, he was already mindful of his past faults. He studied his mistakes and tried to correct them thoroughly. At the age of twenty-one, he felt he still had not completely corrected all his faults. When he was twenty-two, he felt as if twenty-one was spent dreamily without practical improvement. Thus, year after year, he continued to correct his faults. When he reached fifty, Bo Yu still felt that the past forty-nine years were full of wrongdoings. This was how particular our ancestors were regarding the correction of faults. We are all just common people, and our mistakes are as numerous as the spines on a porcupine. Often, when we look back, we do not even see our own faults. This is because we are careless and do not know how to reflect on our own actions. There are also indications when people have accumulated too many offenses and sins. For instance, one's heart may feel confused and oppressed, lacking energy and spirit. One becomes extremely forgetful, full of worries, and feels embarrassed and depressed upon meeting a virtuous gentleman. One becomes displeased at hearing righteous reasoning, and when showing kindness to others, is in turn treated with hostility. One will constantly have nightmares where everything is upside down, and will talk incoherently and behave abnormally. These are the symptoms of those who have accumulated too many sins and offenses. Father, what should we do when faced with this situation? If you have any of the above symptoms, you should immediately gather your willpower and reform all faults. It is necessary to form a new life for yourself. I hope you will not delay. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Father.